10.5D, Solving Equations by Factoring. Simplify first. Before we make the equation equal to zero, we may have to simplify first. So let's take a look at our first example here. We have parentheses. We cannot solve as long as we have parentheses, so we are going to distribute here, giving us 2x squared plus 8x equal to 3x minus 3. We now need to get everything on one side, so we'll subtract 3x and add 3 to the other side. So we now have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. We'll factor this by putting in our two boxes. This tells me that we're going to have plus in both of these because this is plus. There's only one way of factoring 2x squared. There's only one way of factoring 3. Because I am going to be adding these, I do not want to multiply my 2 times my 3. So my 3 is going to go here, my 1 is going to go there. Let's just do a real quick check here. That gives me 2x plus 3x, which gives me 5x. So now I set each one of these factors equal to 0 and solve. So we get 2x equal to a negative 3, divide by 2, and x equals negative 3 halves. Solve our other one. And we get x is equal to a negative 3 halves and negative 1. In our second equation, or example here, we are going to distribute or FOIL. So we're going to get 6x squared plus 2x minus 9x minus 3 equal to negative 8x minus 1. So we now have 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 equal to negative 8x minus 1. Now we get everything on one side. So we're going to add 8x and add 1. So we now have 6x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Put my two boxes in. We'll factor 6x by taking 2x times 3x. We can't have 2 in the same box as with our 2x, so that means my 2 needs to be here. This needs to be positive, so we want our 4x to be positive, and that means that we'll want our 1 to be negative. So we have 4x minus 3 gives me 1. So now we set each one of those factors equal to 0. So we have 2x minus 1 equal to 0, and 3x plus 2 equal to 0. We'll add 1 to both sides here. We have 2x equal to 1, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 1 half. For the other one, we'll subtract by 2, and we'll divide by 3, and so we're going to get x is equal to a negative 2 thirds. And I've solved my equations.